after a week of violent protests in Peru triggered by the ouster of former President Pedro Castillo, Peru's defense minister has announced a nationwide state of emergency. This will allow soldiers to assist police in maintaining public safety. Here's a report for more details. After a week of violent protests following the ouster of former President Pedro Castillo, Peru's defense minister on Wednesday announced a nationwide state of emergency. The 30-day declaration grants new powers to the military, allowing soldiers to assist police, and could mean the suspension of certain freedoms, including the right to assembly. The mass demonstrations erupted after Castillo was impeached on December 7th. Yes. After the impeachment of the president, uh, a protest started in Peru demanding a the change of the Congress. And now we have with us Paul. Welcome to Kendra Chicken This is an exclusive interview with an Ari Peru Nicolas. Welcome, Nicolas. Thank you very much, Vinaykan. Glad to be here. Yeah. Um, so let me begin with my first question. Uh, how did everything got started? Like, could you share the timeline of uh, the occurrence of all the events currently happening in Peru? Yes, sure. Um, so protests actually began like last Wednesday, I think, either Tuesday or Wednesday, after the president got impeached by the Congress. Uh, but we have to go a little bit before. So since the president got elected uh, in mid-2021, so last year, there has been like four attempts of impeachment for really no good reason. And we have just seen this constant battle like between the executive and the, and the Congress. And so what happened last Wednesday, if you say, is that the president tries to kind of dissolve Congress and, and call for new elections for the Congress. But uh, it, he, in the end, he didn't have the support of like the armed forces and things you have to have in order to actually accomplish this. So the president uh, got accused, you know, of trying to dissolve Congress, of running a coup d'etat, which people are divided. Some people think it, it was a kind of coup d'etat. Most people and most, most people that are protesting and most political organizations and social movements re uh, reject this idea that the person carried out a coup. And they are actually against the Congress so that's kind of how like everyone started last week and yeah now we're on a different topic <laughs> a lot of things have happened since last week so we can we go through that back up my second question to you what is the nature of the protest and how is the state government reacting to the current protest yes so the protests like i said are mostly uh, against the Congress, in a way. That's how it started. But since last week, like, we had, like, protests began really, really um, strong, so to say. And they closed some airports, took some, how they call it, how highways in the country. And yes, uh, what happened after this, uh, after this is that there was some repression by the police. And we had, like, we started with like seven deaths uh, caused by the police in a region that's called Abu Um After that, things began getting more complicated because. Like the new president after Pedro Castillo was impeached, uh, Dino Abaluarte, which was who was the vice president, um, took charge, and basically she al al allowed this to happen, like the police interventions and the aggression. After a few days, I think it was on Monday, 
uh, a state of emergency was declared on a national level and the armed forces, like the military, began going out. And so protests were already happening in like 18 of the 24 regions in Peru. And we got repression in, in a lot of these places. Uh, but, but so <laughs> jump ahead to right now, we have 23 deaths, I think, uh, at least the confirmed ones. A lot of wounded people, uh, it gets to the hundreds. And just today, some like locals of some political organizations, uh, where a few of the people that were coming to Lima from different regions uh, have been intervened by the police, looking for, you know, uh, political leaders, even social movement leaders. And so the, the protests are getting really criminalized. So that's kind of like the situation right now. That's really sad to hear, um, especially about the death of many people. Um, so what exactly are the uh, public uh, in uh, Peru demanding? Is it different from what uh, the national leaders across, um, across uh, your neighbors demanding? I mean, the Mexican president is having some certain views, uh, and the Colombian and other, 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 your neighbors are having certain views on take on this. So, is it similar to what the public is demanding, or different? I would say it's kind of similar. So, what unites everyone in the streets right now, pretty much everyone, is uh, against Congress. Like, we want a new Congress than the one this one, and. Of course, because Dina Boluarte, the current president, uh, has this death toll at her hand, uh, there is big rejection for her. Like, she, most people right now are, are also calling for her to renounce. So we want a new Congress, we want a new president. Uh, people are kind of asking for two different ways. Uh, or, or for two different things, and it's kind of like the division. So some people want Pedro Castillo, the last president, to be restituted uh, and to take charge again. This is kind of hard to do because it's like they aren't very. Uh, so because of the constitution, it's not very easy for for us to do that. Uh, but still, like all, all, <laughs> pretty much all of the country is mobilized right now, so maybe that could happen, I don't know. And some other people are asking for just new elections, like as soon as possible, right? So close the Congress, uh, Dina Valuarte announces, and then new elections are called uh, like for, for a few months from now. Uh, it's, it's also kind of problematic because people want this to happen like as soon as possible, like I said. And it appears to be that Dina Boluarte, the current president, uh, ha had, had been kind of collaborating or making some connections with entrepreneurs and some, you know, powerful people. And a few laws have been going, uh, no, a few. A few laws have been passed, like these past few days, which are against, for example, indigenous people. Um, and I think another was against like conservation of fauna, like uh, conservation areas. So yeah, that, that's kind of like how it's going. Um, also, like um, as we are a student organization, we used to know how the university students are responding to the, um, the current uh, protest and other things. Like how how they are how are, are they part of the protest or like are, are your uh, academic life getting affected due to this protest? How how are things going for um, university students? Yeah, so, no, no, that's a very interesting question. So, um. Things have been different, like all over the country. Some universities have like 
they were still having classes and everything. Uh, like they haven't said a word, uh, which is most universities in Peru, to be honest. They haven't said anything. They have changed anything. Uh, some universities, especially in the in the south of the country, have like closed or like cease no, close their activities for for a few for a few days for a week I think um, in solidarity with the protests you know and 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 so that like these students don't have to like give finals or something while this all is happening. Uh, a lot of student organizations have been involved in support of the process. A lot of um, student unions have called also for closing the Congress, for new elections, like they are supporting the demands of the people. Uh, last Thursday, so two days ago, um, I actually was in the, in, in the protest in Lima, the capital, together with the like university students block and there were like five or six universities represented some private universities i think it's mostly my university the catholic university of peru that participates in the protest like the private one uh we have another we have other private universities but there people just they are in blocks there, so they barely have a student union, so they can participate very much. Uh, but there were a lot of national universities, like representation from national universities. Thank you so much, Nicholas, for sharing this um, insight from uh, Ground Zero um, and like providing us with the correct information. Um, and like um, we stand in solidarity in uh, like. I, 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 like we as Kendra Economics Club and me as being part of Rethink International, uh, we stand in, uh, in solidarity with the protesters and like uh, we also uh, wish there is a sooner we can the normal uh, in our furrow and like uh, take care of all the uh, like send our wishes to all our uh, uh, Thank you so much for joining. Uh, you too. Thank you very much for the interview also.